So, this is what I've been working on um, since just after Christmas. This is a commission piece for someone um, who, um, he bought the previous batch of Iron Hills Dwarfs that I did um, from Josh a few months ago. And he contacted me just after Christmas saying that um, he was going to order a few more pieces and uh, he was wondering if I would be able to paint them for him. So this is a combination of about sort of two and a half months work um, painting as and when I can. And I just quickly wanted to show you what I'd done with it and sort of my thoughts on the models themselves because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm never going to buy anything like this for my own collection because firstly I don't own Iron Hills and secondly I would probably get castrated for spending £100 on a single model. So first up we've got the chariot. So this was actually quite difficult to put together I'll admit. Um, there are a few places where I made mistakes and had to sort of like try redo it. Um, it was very fiddly. Yeah. Let's get some, try get some better views. We'll get the light in as well. It was very fiddly in places. Um, lots and lots of pieces to put together. Let's see, over here I tried to make the actual chariot itself a bit more interesting with the bronze there. Um, I made all of the, or as many of the rivets as possible, um, bronze as well, uh, giving a little bit of just extra detail. Um, each of the crew members are actually um, glued in now, with the exception being the captain, so he can be removed and, if required, replaced with an ordinary commander. So that was one of the... Uh, requests for this commission. The goats I uh, did with my airbrush so quite happy with how they came out and then after I'd done it all and glued it all together because I painted most of it um, before putting it together just to make sure that everything would um, be painted and I wouldn't miss anything. I then did this um, sort of like mini scenic base now I may do a separate video on this, but um, what I used was egg cartons. Cut the tiles to shape, glued them down, um, messed them up a little bit, cracked some of them. When I say cracked, cut them so they looked cracked. Um, and then just used my normal basing method of grit and sand. Dry brushed the whole thing. And it's come out quite effective, looking like a broken road. I'm quite pleased with it. So that's the first bit um, and I did it I really did enjoy it it's been a bit of a pain to get everything together but now it's done I look back and know I did enjoy it and next up I have done some of these before but I can't remember if I put them in a video I don't think I did so we've got some Iron Hills Goat Riders um, tried to paint them as well as I could to match the previous ones I did um, there will be slight differences, of course, because I've got, I have, I, in my opinion, I've got better at painting since I did the last ones. And also there's slight differences in the colour, simply where I can't remember the colour scheme, or I don't actually have that paint anymore. So, really chuffed with how these turned out. Comparing them to old pictures, I do think they look much better. They're a very nice kit. Easy to put together, nice and easy to paint. Really, I mean, anything with for from Forge World has got such a good amount of de definition on it that even just a base coat and a wash, and they look great. And scenic bases as well that you get from Forge World. So yeah, overall, very happy with these guys. So that was the second. And then the third part was just a small batch of warrior dismounts for the goat riders. Now again, I'd say these have come out better than the original batch I did. So I hope you can forgive me for that. So I've got a couple of uh, 
ginger ones in there. Some of the grey hair. Well, overall, really nice to paint again. I do, I do like painting the Iron Hills. They're a nice army. There is a, there are quick ways of painting them as well. Just sort of like a spray coat, base coat, dry brush, and gets the armor to a good standard quite easily. Um, I also painted a number of the shields for them. Give them a little bit of battle damage on there. Wood grains on the back. And another request was that these weren't attached. So these are intentionally loose. So that means if he does want to give them shields, he can just, I, don't, I suppose, blue tack them on. So that's what I wanted to show, really. Um, just a quick update. I mean, I have been, well, I should say I haven't been working on anything on my own. But I did recently order um, the new Forge World Elf Helm. So that will be my first... The first Forge World model that I myself own. Um, and he looks absolutely stunning. So I can't wait to get hold of that. Um, there's been sort of like requests for an Elf Helm model for a very long time. And it's nice to finally get one. Um, and he looks brilliant. So... I'll take some pictures as well, but for the moment, that's the overview of what I've done. And thank you all for watching.